One of the common issues that a Windows-based system user usually experiences is the error code 0x800745D. In most scenarios, this case is a result of an I.O. input-output hardware problem. While at other times, a problematic third-party application or a startup item or service may cause this, generating problems when you are installing applications or creating backups for data. You may encounter this error while updating or installing apps or windows, renaming, deleting, copying, or transferring data files, creating a system backup, possible defects when dealing with 0x800745D. The ports for external storage drives are faulty. Data needed for installation are incomplete. A third-party application or a startup program is interfering with your process. Damaged external storage devices. Corrupted system or program registers. Corrupt Windows registry. When confronting this issue, an error prompt will pop up, notifying you that something needs to be fixed. The message will generally appear like these. Ways to fix it. There are many possible solutions for 0x800745D as this is both a hardware and software problem. Note that you don't need to follow these solutions in order, as some of them will depend on your situation. Restart your device. Your go-to troubleshooting method will always include restarting the device as one of the first fixes. This solution might sound rather simple, but it can do wonders in fixing most technical issues. Most of the time, your system is just being overworked and needs to reboot for it to cleanse itself from apps that have not yet completely closed during the earlier usages, hence creating lots of issues. Reinsert or relocate external drives. When you get this error prompt while fiddling files from an external drive such as flash drives and DVDs, it is best to try reinserting your external flash drive once more. The previous attempt might not properly insert your drive well, thus, generating difficulty. If the previous method did not work for your USB devices, you might need to try transferring it to another port. If this works, it implies that the previous port may have been faulty already, hence the trouble in reading or accessing records. Restart via clean boot mode. One way to pinpoint if the difficulty lies in malfunctioning software that interferes with the system processes is to restart your Windows in a clean boot mode. This method will allow your computer to reboot with minimal load barring any programs to run right after booting. If this successfully mended the error, you can now narrow down and diagnose which applications are causing 0x800745D. To enter the clean boot mode, follow the instructions below. Number 1. Log into your PC in an account with administrator authority. Number 2. Open the start menu, lower left of screen, type msconfig.x in the search bar then hit enter, this will bring you to the system configuration utility. The system might ask you for the password, and you simply need to enter it and hit continue. Number 3. Find the general tab and click selective startup on it. Tick off the checkbox of load startup items under it. Number 4. Go to the services tab and tick on the hide all Microsoft services box, then click disable all afterward. Number 5. Finally, click OK, then proceed to restart your device. Try doing your task again. If this works, resolve the issue regarding the third-party app that might have been causing the error, then revert your settings to normal mode. Check the drives for error. If the matter does not lie in faulty USB ports or misbehaving third-party apps, chances are your files are located in a corrupted part of your hard drive, hence, disabling access. 
you can troubleshoot this using a built-in tool for Windows to search and fix drives for errors. First, scan the drive by. Number 1. Access the file explorer and choose the drive with lapses, then right-click on it. Number 2. Click Properties, then select Tools under it and go to Error Checking. Number 3. The scan will begin, lasting for a few minutes. You will be notified of all faults found in the drive during the scan once finished. You can also do that using the command prompt with the steps below. Number 1. Press the Window key and X simultaneously, then select Command Prompt Admin. Number 2. Type the command chkdsk slash f slash r. Once diagnosed, click repair, and it will begin automatically. Keep in mind, however, that there's a big chance that you will lose your files located in the bad sectors of the hard drive once your system fixes them. Check external storage devices for problem. The damage might not necessarily be from your computer hardware or software. You might need to examine your DVDs, CDs, or flash drives from defects stopping you from working with your files. For once, DVDs or CDs might have lots of fingerprints and dirt behind them, affecting the read and write function of your PC. You can simply wipe off those unwanted substances from your disks and try using them again thereafter. Your disks can also even have cracks and scratches in them that will not be fixed by wiping alone. You need to repair the disks first before proceeding if this is the case. Flash drives may also face similar defects, and you might want to hire professional help to mend them. Transfer files to your local storage. If you are installing something from your external storage and keep on getting an error prompt, it is best to try copying the required files to your local drive first before attempting to install once more. Redownload files. Check the sizes of your files. If it doesn't match the actual size it needs to be, then a problem might have arisen during the first download due to a faulty internet connection or other matters. Delete the first batch of files and redownload them. Make sure you have a strong connection this time, so you don't face the same issue once more. Disable antivirus programs temporarily. One of the possible sources of this situation might be one of your defenders. Antivirus programs could impede the application of updates and installation of files if they deemed them dangerous. To go about this, temporarily disable all antivirus software and other background processes then try to install once more. Shrink hard drive volume. If you are facing 0x800704 5D while moving or copying data files to external storage, one of the well-tested repair methods is shrinking the hard drive volume. To do this, log in with your admin account and do the following. Number 1. Type control panel, in the search box of the start menu, then select it once it appears. Number 2. Go to the System and Security option of the panel. Number 3. In the System and Security page, select Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. Number 4. Disk Management will appear on the screen. Right-click on the hard drive that you are going to shrink, then select Shrink Volume from the options. The operation will automatically proceed afterward. Operate the device troubleshooter. There is a built-in program in Windows that troubleshoots errors and fix those lapses as soon as it finds them. To access this feature. Number 1. Go to Settings, then select Update and Security under it. Number 2. Select Troubleshoot. Number 3. Lastly, click Run the Troubleshooter. The program will then scan for defects, and you'll only need to wait. If none of the solutions listed fixed the issue, we recommend using Restore or Repair tool which will scan your computer to fix and replace corrupt and missing files. 
This tool works in most cases, where the issue is caused due by system corruption. The link will be below in the description. If you found this video on how to fix error 0x8007045 d helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe, and hit that like button. Thanks for watching.